Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Microsoft Windows UI or WinUI applications inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will explore the necessary components needed to get us started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. Basically, Microsoft Windows UI, aka WinUI, is a native user experience US framework for both Windows desktop and UWP applications. It incorporates the Fluent Design System into all experiences, controls, and styles, which provides consistent, intuitive, and accessible experiences using the latest U user interface. UI patterns. And of course, Microsoft Visual Studio is an integrated development environment, IDE, from Microsoft, which is used for developing computer programs such as web app, desktop applications, mobile apps, etc. So rather than just talking too much, let's get to the real stuff. Yeah. So as you can see on the screen, yeah, I've got a Visual Studio installer opened. Yeah. So we go through the necessary workloads needed to get us started. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, I'm using the, the version 17.25. So, like, from this video, any, anything above this is fine, yeah? So, we get started by looking at the necessary components needed for this video. So, we look at here, the, uh, the Visual Studio 2022 community. So, we click on the modify. So here, we're going to use the, the C-sharp development. So here, we'll, we check the .NET desktop development. So this will actually help you to build WPF Windows Forms and console apps, yeah? So as you can see, it's already, it's already um, checked, which, which means I've already installed it. But if you haven't, make sure you have this box checked. Then once you've got this box checked, yeah, you come to the optional side here. So the optional bit here, you got to make sure that you also check this box. Yeah, so this is a mobile development. I'm just going to, so we, here is the .NET desktop development. Yeah, so here you come to the optional bit here. So you got to make sure that you have Windows application S SDK C Sharp templates installed. Yeah, so basically this is for the C sharp, I mean C sharp development. So base, if you want to use the C++ development, you do the same thing. Yeah, you come to the um, desktop development with C sharp. Yeah, so you check it. You come to the optional bit of it here. Then um, you you you're going to install the the Windows app SDK C++ templates. Yeah, we're not going to do that. This is for another video. So I'm just going to uncheck the box. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we've got um, a total space required as 1.5 gigs, yeah? So you gotta bear that one in mind as well. So once you've got that checked, yeah? Then we can click on the modify. So we accept. So this will actually initiate the download and installation process, yeah? So I'm just gonna pause the video while the whole thing completes, then I'll come back to it, yeah? Okay, so as you can see, yeah, I've got the downloaded installation completed. So what we do next is obviously launch the Visual Studio. So now we've ha we have the Visual Studio open, we click on the create a new project. So here we can select uh, the C sharp then we leave it at Windows. Then, as you can see here now, we have the Win Win UI show like showing now, yeah. So basically, we can create the the Windows UI application. I mean, we can use this template to create a a, a, a Windows UI application using the C sharp language, yeah. So here, what we do is just uh here we have a blank application. This is a packaged. WinUI in desktop. So this is a project template 
for creating a desktop app based on the Windows UI library, WinUI. This is a WinUI 3, along with the MSIX package for side loading our distribution via the Microsoft Store. Yeah. So here we've got the the class library for the WinUI desktop. Yeah. Then here we've got the blank app. This is the package. Yeah. So based. Uh, yeah, this is the project template for creating a desktop app based on the Windows UI library. This a Windows application package WAP project is included to create the MSIS package for side loading. So enough of all that. So what we do is just gonna check on this box, yeah? And we click on the next. So here obviously you can configure the project details, yeah. But we're not gonna look too much into that. And here you can you can actually place the project um place the place the solution and the project in the same directory you can check on this box we're not going to look too much at that and then we're going to leave the whole thing as it is here now so as you can see so this is basically what is incorporated in this project this is a c sharp and it's got an xml in it so it's a windows and basically the the, the sdk is a windows app sdk and of course it's a target in the windows desktop and it's a win ui project yeah so we click on the create so basically on creating it's actually asking for uh for, for the microsoft credentials so basically you're gonna have to enter some microsoft credentials to get you started for the first time so i'm just gonna pause it and just do what it's asking so as you can see here now I've got the project started, yeah, and like by the way it looks, it's a, it's a blank project, yeah. So I'm just gonna look inside what we've got here. So as you can see, I've it's got a very simple exam uh, XAML file here, yeah. So basically, this is that application resource or uh, application the resource dictionary for the application, yeah. So if you're familiar with uh uh uwp and wpf you should be okay with this yeah so we look at the the main window so here it's got a very simple stuff i mean it's got a stack panel which contains a button and the button has got a a click event yeah so it's just like the usual stuff here so we got we come inside the code behind so basically yeah, we've got this sealed class which is inherited from <coughs> the main window yeah and then we've got this handling the click um event so it's a very simple stuff so basically this is just to get us started so i'm just going to run the project before so here we're going to run the, the package to one yeah so we're going to click on this play button or f5 and let's see what actually comes out so i'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing runs so as you can see here, uh, we've got our first Windows UI desktop app running now. So like it said, it is, if we click here, we should get, see, we should got it, we have it changed to clicked, yeah? So it's very simple stuff here. So what I'm going to do is just leave it here. I will make a video that we can dig in further. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Because I've got lots of videos coming up. Yeah, so have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.